Hi everyone, my name is JT Pilot, and today we'll be making another video. This time we'll be doing a full 100 scale and 200 scale diecast small aircraft collection video. And this will be for August of 2024. And yes, my collection has changed a lot since the last collection video. In the last collection video, we, we had around 250 miles, and now we have over 300 diecast model, miles, which is crazy. Insane to say the models have been taken over the whole entire airport layout. Uh, and, and also I have some models still on my shelves as well. So there's going to be a lot of models in today's video. So the air, models you're seeing on the airport, Matt, are not the only not, are the, are not the only ones that have my collection. I have way more than the ones on the airport, Matt. So, yes. Um, yeah, so my collection has changed a lot since the last collection video. And if you want to see the collection in a written format instead of this, in this video, you can check out my uh, my collection on the Model Airliner Database website, which you, which link for that will be in the description below. So, in case you want to learn more information about a model government in this video, just use that website in the description below. Because I may, yeah, if I actually skip over a model or you didn't understand what I said for a model, you can just check that website out. And yes, yes, before I mention it, my accent may my accent may um, change up how I say some um, aircraft types in this video, including the 747. So they're not 747s because I know there'll be that one person in the comment section. I'll say that. But nonetheless, let's get started on this highly anticipated video, and we'll be starting off with my Delta Airlines collection. So my Delta Airlines collection consists of 29 one scale models, and this has changed a lot since the last collection video. We've gotten a lot of new models, which most of them are duplicate models of aircraft I already have, like the 757s or the 767s, but I do have a few new aircraft types since the last collection video. So nonetheless, let's get started off with the classic first model in each of these clutch phases, which is the Delta Connection Bombardier Series 200. So, it's a, this is a 2016 German just released a Delta Connection there. What a great model. You have the Delta Connection CRJ-700 CRJ by Gemini Jets 2018 release. We have two CRJ-900s by Gemini Jets. The first one is the 2021 release, and you have the 2024 re-release. So, those are really they're really nice models there and a great workhorse in the collection. We have the Delta Connection Bray Air J175 by Gemini Jets. We have the Delta 717. This is the first 2013 release, so what a what a great model here. It's one of my oldest one of my oldest Delta models, so there you go. We have the Delta Airbus A220-100. This is the first 2018 release. We have the Delta A220-300. This is the first 2020 release. We have the Delta Airbus A419 by NG Miles, so my first NG Miles in the video. And this, that's the first NG Delta A419 release. We have another highly anticipated model in today's video, which is the Delta Airbus A320. So this is our first new model since the last collection video. So been well needed in the collection for quite a long time. So as Delta sends, sends these aircraft all across the United States of America. We have our first Delta 737 in today's video, which is the Delta 737-700. That's the NG model. We have the Delta 747-800 in the Sky Team livery. Let me get a better angle. There you go. So we have the Delta 747-800 in the Sky Team li li livery by NG models. We have the Delta 747-800 first release by NG models with the blended winglets. What a fantastic model there. Ha I've had that model for four years now. We have the Delta 747-800 with split skimmer winglets. And this is another new NG model here since the last collection fan. We have the Delta 747-900 by NG Models. What a fantastic model there. And then our, our next NG model is the Delta E321 in the Thank You livery. So that's a fantastic, fantastic NG model. Then we have the NG Delta E321 in the regular livery. Proceeding on to our next model here, the Delta Airbus E321 Neo by NG Models. What a fantastic model. We have the Delta 727 in the Widget livery by Gemini Jets. What a, yeah, that's a cool classic model there. We have the Delta 757-200 in the Ron Allen livery. What a fantastic NG, NG model. We have another new model right here. It's the Delta 757-200 without winglets by Gemini Jets. This is the Gen 2 configured, configured aircraft. We have the Delta 757-200 in the, in the Marina Rivera titles there. So what a fantastic NG model. And we had the NG Delta 757-200 Gen 1 configuration. We have the Gemini Jets Delta 757-300. This is your 2021 release there, so what a great model. 
we had the Gemini Jets Delta Sun 767 300 ER. And this is, again, this is the 2020 free release. And we have a, a new model right here, one of the new models in Tasty. I just got this model today on the day I'm recording this. So here's the Delta Sun 67 300 ER by NG Models. And this has a GE engine's November, November 173 Delta Zulu. Okay, so what a fantastic model there. We got some Sun 67-400s. We got a new one right here, which is the Panda Models Delta Airlines Bone Sun 67-400. What a fantastic Panda Model. Really love the mold on this. Um, Panda Models really nailed this aircraft. Yes, look at all that detail on the fan blades there. So, yeah, what a great model here. Sorry it's a little crammed in back here. I've had I had um, cram a few models in on this on layout. Uh, yeah, this whole airport mat is being taken up by plane models, so there's no space for any models. So, yeah. Moving on to our next aircraft here, the Delta 767-400ER in the Ron Allen livery by Gemini Jets. I did sell the um, normal livery Gemini Jets Delta 764, so that model was so bad. It was, yeah, the mold was terrible. This, yeah, the mold on this one's still terrible, but at least the Ron Allen livery makes this model look, makes this model look presentable, so yeah. So now I replaced the Gemini um, regular livery with the Panda version. And we got another new model to the party here, the Delta A330-900 Neo. What a fantastic NG model there. So I sold my Gemini Jets version and replaced it with the NG version. Here we have the NG Delta A330-300. So I really hope, Del I mean, I really hope NG re releases a Delta A330-200 soon so I can complete my Delta Wide Body collection. And here we have two Delta A350s. We have the NG version. NG version on the left that's being covered up by a stabilizer. There you go. And then you have the Aviation 400 version. So I'll likely be selling the NG version to replace it with a Team USA Delta A350 because these A350s take up a lot of space. So really, yeah. So yeah, I do have to sell one of them because I can't really have two standard livery ones. So that's it for the Delta Airlines collection there for today's collection base. So we're almost nearing completion on this collection. So the only aircraft that really needs the E330-200 event. Yes, and then I, will, I want to get the E170. I can play my Delta Connection fleet as well. But other than that, that's it for the Delta Air Airlines collection. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this part. So if you have any questions about this collection, just let me know. So nonetheless, let's get started off with the American Airlines collection, which has seen lots of changes. And already, so we'll be moving on to my next airline collection, which is American Airlines. So my American Airlines collection consists of consists of six regional jets and it consists of 19 mainline aircraft. So Yes, American, my American collection has expanded quite a bit since the last collection phase, so it's really great to see. It's an airline I've been lacking in in terms of models, so yeah, so nonetheless, let's get started off with our first model. So starting off with the first American model here with the American Eagle, Dash, Dash AQ200 in the Piedmont Retro livery. So what a, what a fantastic little Joe Medvets model. Here are the American Eagle, Embraer Ear J145. That's the 2021 Joe Medvets release. We have the 2022 Gemini Jets American Eagle CRG-700, so what a great model there. And these are really great for my Norfolk Airport update series. We have the American Eagle CRG-900, so what a workhorse model there. I and mean, that's a great Gemini Jets model. Here we have the Gemini Jets American Eagle E-170 in the retro livery. Here are the Gemini Jets American Eagle E-175, and this is the 2018 release. We have the Gemini Jets American E319. This is the 2015 release, so one of my older models there. We have the beautiful NG Models American Airlines McDonnell Douglas ND83. What a fantastic NG model here. And this is a November 984 Tango Whiskey release. This is the last ever American ND80 produced. So grateful to have this model in my collection. What a, be yeah, what a beautiful NG model. We have the NG Models American 747 Dash Android in the Chrome livery. So what a fantastic NG model. And we got a bunch of 747s coming up. We had the Gemini Jets American Airlines 747-800 in the Astrojet livery. We had the NG Models American 747-800 in the One World livery. One with the winglet logos and one with the normal winglets there. So these are fantastic NG Models American 747s. Yes, and hopefully NG Models will continue their their work, their American Airlines mainline work with do, by doing some A319s and A320s because I don't have an American A320. So that'd be a great model to add in the future, but Inch Models really did a great job with their 747s. Moving on to our next aircraft here, the Gemini Jets American 747, 737-MAX-8. This is, and yeah, this is the 2021 release. 
Here we have the American Airbus A321 in the PSA Heritage livery. So what a beautiful Gemini Death model. This model I got from the airplane shop. So I did get, I, I bought quite a few miles from the airplane store. So you'll be seeing that, that yeah, I bought quite a few miles from the airplane shop. And you'll be seeing those throughout this video. So yes, I did go to the airplane shop a, a month ago and I went to the New Jersey location. More information about that can be seen on my maximum unboxing, maximum unboxing number seven. So. Yeah, so this is a great Gemini Death Small here, and unfortunately, I did not have the I did not get the Piedmont or the Allegheny Heritage A for twenty ones. Hopefully, I'll get those soon. You have the American A for twenty one in the Medal of Honor livery by NG Models. We have the standard livery American A for twenty one by NG Models twenty twenty release there. So hopefully, NG Models will release some more American A for twenty ones. We have an American Seven by Seven Destroyer in the One World livery. We had another new model right here. Just got this model. And it is the NG Models American 767-200 yard. What a beautiful, beautiful little wide body aircraft because the 767-200 is quite small. So yeah, look at, yeah, look at the size difference from that 777 there. So it's quite a small aircraft. And this is my first ever 767-200 in my collection. So it's an aircraft type I've always wanted. So yeah, so what a beautiful NG model there. And there's that American Chrome 777-200 yard by, by NG Models. What a fantastic model. And we got the standard livery by NG Models. Both of these are fantastic models and they're great workhorses in the collection. We have the NG Models American 787-8. And then we have another new model right here. Just got this model. It's the Aviation 400 American Airlines 787-9. What a fantastic model here. And I did get a lot of Aviation 400 787-9s recently. I got six new ones, including this one. So you'll be seeing this throughout this video. They've been filling a lot of um, wide body gaps in my collection, so. Yes, but overall, this is a fantastic Aviation 400 model right here, and you, you should be seeing a review of that coming up soon on my YouTube channel. So that's it for the American Airlines collection. So, got a quite a bit, got quite a bit of new models here. Got the 77-9, E767-200, the PSA E321, and the MD-80. So, yes, got a lot of new American models here now, and hopefully in the future I'll be able to purchase more American Airlines models, including some A319s, A320s. A for 21s and a triple seven dash three hundred ER, and I'm hoping to get the AV four hundred release of the American triple seven dash three hundred ER. So, yes, who knows when that model will come out? But anyway, so that's it for my American Airlines collection. Let's move on to my next airline collection. And moving on to a collection that's expanded quite a bit, which is my United Airlines collection, which consists of twenty nine mainline mainline aircraft and four regional jets, and I have ten brand new models. So. Been filling in a lot of gaps in my collection recently, and a lot of those gaps were in my United fleet, so grateful to have um, filled in most of those gaps. So nonetheless, let's get started off with our first United aircraft, which is the Flying Dumps from United Express CRJ-200. So here's the United Express CRJ-200 in the Evil Blue livery by Gemini Jets. We have the Gemini Jets United Express CRJ-550, so that's a really rare model, so grateful to have it. Here we have the Gemini Jets Mesa Airlines, CRJ-200, another model I got from the airplane shop. And yes, I know this is not a United model, but the last time Mesa Airlines was flying, were flying their CRJ-900s with a mainland airline, Maryland, the last time Mesa Airlines were flying the CRJ-900s was with United. So, yes, yeah, so that's why I put them over here. So, yes, yeah, so they're, they're not currently flying these right now. So that's pretty unfortunate. But grateful to have this model nonetheless, because maybe one day Mesa Airlines will resume operations with their house livery CRJ-900. Moving on to our next aircraft here, the United Express, Embraer EJ-175 in the Evo li li livery by Joanitis, another rare model there. And speaking of rare models here, we have the Joanitis United A319, so grateful to have that model there. And this is a model, I've been, this is a model I've, been wanting, I've been wanting to have in my collection for quite a long time. Which is the Panama slash Alp 2 Miles United Airbus E320. So what a fantastic Panama here. I'm one of the first to have it. So this is an exclusive to West Coast Diecast. So use my code JT Pilot for 5% off their store. And you can get yourself a United A320 in the Evil Blue delivery. So yeah, so what a what a fantastic Panama slash altitude model right here. And yes, and there's a review for this model on my YouTube channel. And that can be said for a lot of models for this video. So moving on to some United 737s. So here we have United 737-700 in the Continental Globe Glo 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 livery. Here we have the United 737-700 in the Evil Blue livery. Here we have the 747-800 in the Rise of Skywalker livery there. What a fantastic engine model. 
Here we have a United 747-800 in the regular livery. Here we have the United 747-900 ER in the EVO blue livery. What a fantastic engine model. And, the, and that's some first exchange is by Gemini Jets, in case you're wondering. Here we have a United some first seven dash nine hundred yard in the continents will go delivery by NG models. Here we have the United some first seven dash nine nine hundred yard in the Continental Airlines retro livery. So what a beautiful NG model. Here we have the United some first seven dash Max Eight by Gemini. This is their first release from, I believe, the December twenty twenty one set. So there you go. What a beautiful Gemini Jets model. Here we have here we have the engine models United Airlines Boeing 747 Max Line, the Continental, Continental Globe livery. What a fantastic model. Here we have another new model right here. Here we have the Germany Jets United Airlines Boeing 747 Max 9 in the Evil Blue livery. So what a what a fantastic model here. This is another model I've been wanting for quite a long time to be released in one fortune. It's really nobody has done it in good quality. So yeah, really grateful to have this model, and this is a fantastic Germany Jets model. Moving on to our next model here, the Gemini, I mean, not the Gemini, that's sorry. Here are the Inchi models, United Airlines Boeing 737-MAX, 737-MAX 10. So this is my first 737-MAX 10 in the collection. So grateful to have this aircraft and it's a beautiful Inchi model. So can't wait when the time comes for Inchi models to do a Delta in Alaska and an Alaska 737-MAX. And those are gonna be great models. Another new model right here, here with the United Airbus A321neo by Inchi models, so another yeah, another fantastic model. Another new model right here. I got this model for a CRP, um, for the, for NG CRP program. So here we have United Seven Five Seven Dash Junior Indy Continental Globe Livery. So, what a fantastic NG model right there, and I'm grateful to have it. So that's our first United Seven Five Seven. I quite I have quite a few in my collection. Here we have two her right here Seven Five Seven. So we have one by Gemini Jets on your left, and one by NG Models on your right. The Gemini Jets version was a Blank Box 2020, Blank Box 2020 release. This NG version was their second production run from May 2023 around there. So that's a beautiful model. Here we have the first production NG models, United 757-200 in the Her Her Art Here New York library. I almost got the fly on this aircraft this summer. So yes, yeah, so and this is the NG, yeah, this is NG models 2020 release. We have our NG Models United 757 in the Evil Blue livery there. What a fantastic model. Another new model to the party is the United 757 300 by NG Models. So I replaced the German Jets version with, with this fantastic NG model. So it's another fairly recent addition to my collection. Here we have the German Jets United 767 300 yard. This is another rare model I have in my collection. Here we have another new model right here. It's a fantastic Panda Models United 767-400 yard in the Evo Blue livery. So, what a fantastic model. Here we have the United 767-400 yard in the Continental Gold livery by, by Gemini Jets. Here we have the Aviation 400 United Airlines Boeing 787-9. So, what a fantastic Aviation 400 model. Yeah, grateful to have a United 787-9 at long last. Here we have the NG Models United Airlines Boeing 787-10. This is their first 2020 release. We had the NG Models United Airlines Boeing 777-200 ER in the Star Alliance livery. And we had the Gemini Desk United 777-300 ER with flaps down. This is their, this is another new model right here. This is from the December 2023 release set. So what a fantastic Gemini Desk model. I'm grateful to have it. Yeah, look at it. I'll show you guys the flaps down details there. Yeah, pretty fantastic there. And a review of that it can be found on my YouTube channel. And we're going back in time for a little bit for this next one, which is the United Airlines Boeing 747-SP in the Friendship 1 livery. So, yeah, what a beautiful United model. So that is it for my United Airlines collection. So, yes, that's it for my United Airlines collection. This collection has expanded quite a bit. We've gotten a lot of new wide bodies, including the 777-300ER, the 787-9, the 767-400, so new wide buys there. Also got some new narrow buys, like that 757-300, uh, the 757-200, the E for 21, the Max 10, the Max 9, so we got four new models in a row there. And we also got that E for 20, which arguably is my most favorite new model, so this is gonna be a very useful aircraft in the collection. So that's it for my United Airlines collection.
Let's move on to the next airline collection. And all right, so we got two regional jets I'm gonna be covering right here. And these are some United States carriers. So we have a silver ATR-42 by Jim Edison, the pink flamingo livery. And we have the Contour Embraer Embra Embra ERJ-145 by Jim Jets. And this, yeah, this is another airplane shot. I'm also grateful to have this really cool regional airline. So we're gonna be proceeding on to our next collection, which is my Alaska Airlines collection. So this really hasn't changed too much. I did get one new model but they have changed location. Now they're all the way to the left side of my airport mat. So yeah, changed location since the last collection videos. And I'll also be covering my Hawaiian collection there. Since these airlines are, since supposedly Alaska Airlines has bought Hawaiian Airlines, so, and or that deal is in the works. So might as well include Hawaiian in the Alaska section. So starting off our first model. So starting off our first Alaska model, here for the Alaska 737-800. This is the May 2020 NG release there. Missing the nose landing gear there, so I had to put a replacement one on there. So what a great NG model. We have the Salmon People. I mean, so, sorry, we have the Salmon 30 Salmon 747-800 right here. So what a fantastic NG model there. Fantastic Alaska livery. Really miss this livery. Here we have its replacement right here, which is the NG Alaska 747-800 in the Salmon People livery. We had the NG models Alaska 747-800 in the honoring, honoring, honoring Those Who Serve livery. We have the Alaska Sim 37-800 in the, in the Disneyland Star Wars livery. We have the Alaska Sim 37-800 in the Disney Pixar Pier livery. So that's a new JC Wings model. So there's something a little different there. And unfortunately, that livery has been repainted in real life. But so grateful to have it. And might as well get this model right while we're over here. Over here, here are the Hawaiian 787-9 by NG Model. So what a fantastic, fantastic model there. Yeah, I really do need to expand my Hawaiian collection. It's kind of sad just being one lonely model. And proceeding on, proceeding on to some more Alaska aircraft, here are the Alaska 747-900ER by NG Models. And we have the Alaska 747-900ER in, in the One World livery by NG Models. Here we have the UNCF livery 747-900ER by NG Models. Here we have the More to Love livery 747-900ER by NG Models. Oh, we got something different right here for the Alaska fleet. So here are the Alaska Airbus E321 in the More to Love livery. So at least you really look great together, so. Yeah, beautiful models. And our final Alaska model in this section is the Alaska Sun 47 Max 9 in the Orca livery. So what a beautiful Gemini Desk model. So that's it for my Alaska Alaska slash wine collection. So yes, yeah, so my plans for my Alaska collection include getting the Alaska Sun 47 Max 8 by Gemini Desk. So you'll be seeing that in the next collection video. And it'll be great to have a standard livery Max 9 as well from Alaska Airlines. So yeah. Yeah, so for Hawaiian, I really want to get the A330-200, so hopefully NG will do a re-release of it. I've heard rumors they'll be doing another re-release later this year, probably in the November time period. So that would be really great if they, NG does a re-release of that. So, yeah, that's it for the Alaska Airlines collection. And moving on to the most highly anticipated section of this video for a lot of you guys, this is my Southwest Airlines collection, which consists of 60, 60, yeah, that's right, 60 die-cast model aircraft, and... Yes, I've gotten a few new Southwest models, not as many as I've gotten in previous collections, but there's a, still a few new ones to cover. And yeah, so nonetheless, let's get started. So getting started off our first Southwest aircraft with the classic, the Southwest 747-300 in the Shamu 1 livery by Panda Models. What a fantastic model. And we'll be proceeding on to some state livery 747-700. So I'm not, yes, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say the 747-700 for quite a bit. So it's a save on some time there, so. We have the Colorado One, Colorado One, right here, and this is hat. This has a cane blue livery right here, and that's an NG model. Yeah, all these are some forty-seven dash seven hundreds. We have the Colorado One with the hard tail by NG models. Yeah, both of these are fantastic models. We have the trio of NG models, Maryland One. So we have the cane blue tail, cane blue tail with the blue nose, and the hard tail with the Maryland One livery, and unfortunately. Maryland one livery on the 747 or 700 will be repainted soon onto Dash 800, I do believe. So that's pretty sad. And I believe November 214, Whiskey November, which is the registration on Maryland one, will be soon getting retired in real life and probably, yeah, be going to storage. So that's really sad. So, yeah, even the aircraft itself is leaving the Southwest, Southwest fleet soon. But that, yeah, so, yeah, it's going to be really sad. Proceeding on to our, another, we have a duo, a Southwest Mer Missouri ones by NG Models. We have one with the blended winglets on your left. And we have one with the skimmed our wings. And this is this is one of my favorite 
state liveries, state liveries from Southwest. Really love, really love Missouri one. Such a such a beautiful livery. Yeah, lots of lots of details on our state flag. So yeah, hope to hope to visit Missouri someday. So yeah, so Missouri one and Maryland one are my favorite Southwest state liveries. So yeah. Moving on to our next duo of aircraft, we have two Lone Star 1747s. Really love the state of Texas, so that's why I have two of them, but at least these two are different. So on your left, you have the NG Lone Star 1. And on your right, you have the Panda Models Lone Star 1 there. So both of these are fantastic models. Yeah, if I kept the Gemini version, I would have had three of these, so that would have been crazy. Um, but I decided to sell that one because I don't need three Lone Star 1 747s, so yeah. We have another duo of Southwest Staylers, so that's going to be kind of the theme, because I am a Southwest collector, so I'd, I will buy every single Southwest model that's released by NG or Panda models, so, yeah, so, yeah, I do have quite a bit of them. So, moving on to our next model, here are the Southwest Arizona 1, so for you, so with blended winglets, and we have a, another Arizona 1 with blended winglets, this time it, I mean, another Arizona 1, but this time it has both skimmed our winglets, and both of these are by Panda models. Here we have California 1, so what a beautiful model here. I will be getting the NG um, 747H Android in the California 1 livery soon, and that'll be in the next collection video. But it's still a beautiful model. Here we have Tennessee 1 by Gemini Jet, so had this one of my first models right there, so that's really cool. Really cool to saw this model. We have Florida 1, another beautiful state livery. That's a Gemini Jet model. Here we have a very tail heavy Gemini Jet Illinois 1 747H 700, so yeah. Pretty bad there. And then we have the Airplane Shop exclusive, um, Louisiana 1, 747 by Gemini Jets. And then we have the NG Miles Coco 1, 747 700. And that's what a, what a, um, that's a pretty unique style of small guy right there. So really beautiful NG Miles. That's a really dark heart livery. Yeah. Oh, let me move over. Yeah, besides a really dark heart livery on that, it's, it's a beautiful NG Miles. Proceeding on to some Canyon Blue 747 Summers. Here we have the Gemini Jets 2014 release. We had the engine, we had two engine models blended winglet releases here, the Canyon Blue Livery. These are beautiful models. Here we have November 251 Whiskey November and November 252 Whiskey November. So both of these are Canyon Blue 747 700s. Um, November 252 was the original engine release, and November 251 was the second release from. November 2022, and this is, and the first release was from April 2021, so a lot of information there. Sorry, guys. We had the Desert Gold 747-700 by Panda So what a, what a beautiful model there, so. Yeah, that is actually the, that is the standard Desert Gold livery, not the special variant. Here we have the special variant right here. Here I have the Herb. So here we have the Geminids, Southwest 747-700, Desert Gold livery, number 7. November 714 Charlie Bravo. So, yeah, really bad model there. That labor, ugh, it's bad. Yeah, really hope NG models or PAN models will do a better quality version of that aircraft. Maybe one day. So, yeah, but this aircraft is retired in real life. We got an oddball in the collection for my Southwest fleet. Uh, we have a brand new Southwest 727 200 in the green livery. So, yeah, this is a Gemini just December 2023 release. So, what a beautiful model here. But only non-Southwest 747, so it's my only Southwest 727, and a lot of people didn't know, but Southwest briefly operates 727s, and yes, it is, yeah, briefly operates 727s in a variety of liveries, including this green livery with a really cool Southwest tail, because look at that, look at the S emblem on there, it looks really cool, so, yeah, really cool Southwest smile here, and grateful to have it. All right, so I'm gonna work my way work my way back to the other side of the table here and get it on to our next Southwest aircraft. So now we got some standard livery, some 4700s. I have a ton of these. I, yeah, I have a little too many here, but that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a crazy Southwest collector. And believe it or not, a lot of these are different. So I can't believe it or not. So starting off our first Southwest heart livery, some 4700, here we have the Gemini, Gemini S2015 release. So that's a pretty rare model. We have two Panama's blended winglets, some 4700. So these are the best heart livery 747 release that's been done one four hundred, mainly due to the mold and the color. And here we have two November 963 Whiskey November releases by Panda Models. So this is their first heart 747 releases. And these, yeah, first heart 747 releases was the splits. And these are Army Store exclusives. 
Here we have the second release of that, which is number 7855 Alpha by, by Pain and Models. Another arm store exclusive there, so let's have one of these. Then we have a trio of NG Salvas Heart Larry Symphony Cylinder 700, 700. So here we have one of the Swiss Gimmer winglets, one with the blended winglets, and one with a blended winglet and the mismatched cane and blue winglet on there. So you can definitely tell the color differences of these Heart Symphony Cylinder Cylinder. So you got the NGs there, you got your pandas there, and then you got the Gemini versions. So the pandas are the best ones in my opinion. They have the best color to them. But that yeah, the Gemini version isn't too bad, but the mold's really taken that model down. While on the NG versions, the mold is fantastic. It's just that color is really bad. So, yeah. Proceeding on to another oddball in the Southwest collection for now, at least until we get more of them. Here are the Southwest Symphony Senators Max 7 by NG Model. So my first ever Max 7 in the 140 scale. So what a great NG Model here besides the dark heart livery. All right, so we'll be moving on to some state livery Symphony 7-800. So this one is in the state. This represents the whole entire all 50 states. Here at the Southwest Freedom 1 Symphony 7 800 by NG Models. Here we have the Southwest Symphony 7 800 in the 10 C1 livery by NG Models. Illinois 1 by NG. What a fantastic model. Here we have New Mexico 1 by NG Models. And we got non NG model here. Here we have the Giant that's Nevada 1 Symphony 7 800. So, yeah, it's weird how NG hasn't done this model yet. Um, they've hinted about it, but they've never released it. So, that's pretty unfortunate there, but that's still a fairly decent Gemini Desk model. And it is a new model to the collection there. So my first new Southwest model in today's video besides the 727. We've got another new Southwest model to my collection. It's not a new model really, it's a pretty old model. Here are the Southwest Symphony 7-800 in the Warrior 1 livery. This is a 2012 release, so a 12 year old model here, but still a faint, it's still a great Gemini Desk model. Move back on over. So we're gonna be live this in today's video. So sorry about that. So we got some more cane blue Symphony Sun Shaner. So um, yeah, if I didn't say we have left the state livery territory to some cane blue aircraft again. We have the cane blue Symphony Sun Shaner by NG Models with blended winglets there. What a fantastic model. And then we have these cane blue Symphony Sun Shaner with split skimmer winglets by NG Models. Here we have some Symphony Sun Shaner. Here we have two of the first released by NG Models. So beautiful hard livery aircraft. So these were 2019 releases. Here we have three of the 2022 releases here we're supposed to skim their way. It's fantastic. NG Models there. Here we have a Southwest Symphony Sun Shaner with the blended winglets, the test winglets there. By NG Models there. And you know, this was released at the same time as those aircraft. You, got lot... you look at all these Southwest aircraft. Looking, looking beautiful. Yeah, looking beautiful. And we got another Hard Livery 800 by Panda Balls this time, so something a little different here. Here are the Southwest Hard 2 Symphony Center Shaner, so grateful to have this aircraft and hope to get Hard 1 sometime. And that and that was released by Gemini Jet, so I'll probably have to go on eBay and get one of this. So I really want to complete the Southwest collection. We got some Symphony Center Max 8s now, and we got a few. We got a few, we got one new model over here, which is a, another oddball for the Southwest collection. That's kind of the theme of today's video. Here are the Southwest Symphony Center Max 8 by Phoenix Models. And this is the 1000th aircraft for Southwest Airlines model here. And this has a sticker there, so that's a little different. So, yeah. So, the Phoenix model is pretty good. Um, the mold kind of restricts it a little bit, and the color is a little dark on the bottom. that, it's a really cool Phoenix model. So, here are the... In no, sorry. Here we have the Gemini Jet Southwest Max 8 right here. I believe... Yeah, 2021 release there. And we got two of those. So, here's another one. Here we have the 2018 release by Gemini Jets there. So these are, yeah, and once again, these are the best Southwest Max states in the 1400 scale, just because NG Models really screwed up the color on them. And here is the, here is the NG version right here. Yes, and the, so this second Gemini Jets release right here, 2018 release, and these two are the 2021 releases there. So yeah, sorry about that. We have a fancy model right here, here a pink one, Southwest Max 8 there, so really obscure model right there, but it's still a cool fancy model, my only fancy model in the collection. Actually my, yeah, I have two actually, there'll be one later on this video. Here we have the Southwest and Mio 1, so very finished Max 8. What a beautiful NG model there. Yeah, one of my favorite Southwest aircraft. We got two more beautiful NG Southwest aircraft here, the Cannon Blue Retro Max 8, and we got the Desert Gold Retro Livery Max 8 right there, so. That's it for that's it for my Southwest collection there. So sorry about 
Sorry about this section being a little dark over here. The window light comes in from this way, but I'll give you some better angles of the Salvos Maxis. So, yeah, so these are some, yeah, so here's my Salvos collections. What a beautiful collection here. And it's in, yeah, this collection will continue to expand because we're getting lots of Salvos releases. So, yes, hopefully, maybe one day I have 100 of these. That'd be crazy, right? I wouldn't doubt it, though. Wouldn't doubt it. But, yeah, overall, my plans for my um, Salvos collection still do that. My plan still remains the same for the last collection. I get, uh, I will be getting all the new Southwest releases on by Inch Miles and Pan Miles. Enjoy this if I need to. And then I plan on picking up some of the older, some of the older Gemini Disc releases, including the Heart 2 Symphony Sonage 800, their first Max 8 release, and some Southwest Symphony Sonage 300s and 500s. So I've, I've been really needing those for my collection. So that's it for the Southwest collection. Let's move on to our next airline. And all right, so proceeding on to our next collection here, we have my Breeze Airlines collection. Here we have Breeze, Embraer Air J195 by Gemini Jets, and we had the Gemini Jets Breeze 8 to 20 that's free. So, you know, that's it for my Breeze collection. It'll probably be staying the same for quite a long time because that's the only two aircraft Breeze really operates. Maybe a Gemini Jets as a Breeze E190, I'd purchase that as well. Proceeding on to JetBlue Airlines, so we've gotten quite a bit of new JetBlue models. Including some new JetBlue livery aircraft, which is really exciting. So, starting off with some, starting off with our first eight, our first JetBlue aircraft here with JetBlue eight two twenty dash three hundred and and the Hopstail. What a beautiful model! That's the Gemini Jets May twenty twenty three release. Here we have the Gemini Jets eight three twenty and the balloons. I mean, not the balloons tail, the blueberries tail. Missing the um, forward antennas. So that's pretty unfortunate. Here is the Gemini Jets barcode eight three twenty. Here we have two altitude miles slash painted miles jet blue E320s in the high risk still. Both exclusives are West Coast die casts. There's one with a mismatched nose cone and one with the regular nose cone. Here we have the jet blue E320 in the high risk still with fin sips. This is the exclusive model for our miles store. This is by Panda Models. Here we have the altitude miles slash painted miles jet blue E320 with the high risk still and sharklets. Exclusive to West Coast die casts. Here we have a JetBlue A320 in the balloons livery by NG Models. So that's a new model. What a fantastic model. Here are the NG JetBlue A321 in the mint livery. So we're moving on some A321s now for JetBlue. We have one in the balloons livery. What a fantastic model. That's a new NG Models release. Here we have the NG Models JetBlue A320 in R200 for aircraft titles. That's the Airliners International 2023 exclusive. Here we have the 2022 re-release by NG Miles, and that is in the Prism Tail. We have the 2020 release by NG Miles there. What a beautiful model. We have the JetBlue A321 with the Balloons Tail there. This is standard CE, um, standard A321-200. Here are the JetBlue A321 Neo by NG Miles, and this is in the Balloons Tail. And yeah, hopefully NG Miles will release the JetBlue A21 in the balloons livery, the Neo. So that would be really great to see. And yes, and the, the balloons livery and the mint livery. So that'd, yeah, that would be great to see. Here are the JetBlue A21 Neo in the ribbon style by Panda Miles. I believe this is a Winglux model there, so that's really cool. So one of Panda sub brands. And we have a Panda A21 in the streamer's tail. And that is another Winglux model. So that's it for my JetBlue collection. So JetBlue has seen some minor changes since the last collection video. Many with those two new livery editions. We have the balloons, balloons livery A321, and we have the spotted livery A320. So that's pretty much it for my JetBlue collection. And moving on to a collection that's changed quite a bit since the last collection video is my Frontier Airlines collection. We have seen several new additions to the collection, including some highly anticipated aircraft right over here. So we'll be starting off with our first Frontier aircraft. And we have a trio of Frontier E319s, I mean E318s by NG Miles. So, yeah, these are my first E318s in the collection. So it's a really um, cool and unique Airbus aircraft that was produced in the early 2000s that only a few were produced. So, hey, grateful to have some E318s in the collection. So, starting with our first aircraft here, a Frontier E318, Griswold the Bear Tail. We have Montana the Elk E318. And we have Charlie the Cougar Tail E318. So these are fantastic. NG Miles over here. Moving on to some A419s by Gemini Dust. We have one in the Puffin Tail and one in the Hair Tail. So these are two great um, Gemini Dust aircraft over here. So, yeah, that's all I can really say. And I got these last year. So, 
They've been in the collection for quite a bit. Here we have Frontier AP20 Neo Enchanted Bronco Tail. This is the Gemini Disc release, so yeah, really bad release. I really love the tail though. Here's the Gemini, Gemini Poppy the Party Dog Tail AP20 Neo. Here we have Steve the Eagle E321 by Gemini Jets. And we have a trio of E321 Neos by Aero Classics. So, I haven't bought Aero Classics models in quite a while, so I decided to purchase these because I've been really wanting a Frontier E321 Neo. One of my most, yeah, one of my most requested models there. I really have been wanting some for the collection. So, we have one in the Edward the Bald Eagle livery there because that is the, the I, I, that's, hold on. Here we have Frontier E321 Neo in the Edward the Bald Eagle tail, and that is in America's Greenest Airline livery. Here we have here we have um, Chopper the Great White Shark, Eve 21 Neo, and we got Uzi the Orca there. So, yes, yeah, so that's it for my Frontier Airlines collection. So, yeah, so, yeah, I've been really expanding the Frontier collection. I've got a lot of new Frontier models around. Yeah, how I many we got? Like, an, I think, yeah, six new Frontier models. So, this collection has really expanded over the past year. I um, hope, hope, hope to get some more. I really love collecting. All the animal tails, because we got it. Yeah, Griswold the bear, Montana elk, Charlie the cougar, and we got the puffin, the hare, or the rabbit, whatever you want to call it. We got a horse, and we got we got a prairie dog, and we got a, a two bald eagles there. So that's really cool. So yeah, lots of uniqueness among frontier tails. I really love how Frontier Airlines does different animal tails for all their aircraft. So yeah, that's it for the Frontier Airlines collection. And all right, so it's time for some banana buses. And here are my Spirit Airlines collection. So this collection really hasn't changed too much. I just got this one new Molly here, which is the Engine Model Spirit E319. And this is my all NG Spirit fleet, so that's really great to say. It's great that all these aircraft are practically the same, just in, just in different lengths or configurations. So here's the Spirit E319, first release. We have the Spirit E320 with fin sips. And that's in the new Spirit livery, so that's really cool to see. We have the Spirit E320 with with wing with sharklets, that's in the bear fair livery. We had the bear fair livery E three twenty neo. We have the E three twenty one neo with the new spirit livery, and with the spirit E three twenty one with sharklets, and that's the second NG Mall's release. Moving on to my next collection, which is my Legion collection. Pretty much the exact same since the last time. Hoping to get some more Legion aircraft in the near future. We have the Legion E three nineteen in the older livery by Gemini Jets twenty fourteen release in our older model. We have the Allegiant E319 by Panda Models and the Allegiant E320 by Panda Models. Both of these Panda Models are arm store ex exclusives. Then we have my Sun Country collection with a few models here. I did, I did get rid of my seven, one of my 700s though because I don't really need two of them since they're retired aircraft. Here we have the Sun Country Sun Freight Center Center without wingless by NG Models. Here we have the NG Models Sun Country Sun Freight 7 800 with blended winglets. Here we have the Avalo 747-800 by Gemini Jets. So my only Avalo model there. Pretty poor model there. Here we have my Gemini Jets World Atlantic MD-83. So that's a charter aircraft there. So really cool airline there. And here we have my Northern Pacific 757-Junior by, Ju by JC Wing. So this is, yeah, newer release there. And yeah, so. And all right, so that's it for the low cost airlines. So yeah, so for my Spirit Collection, Pretty much the exact same. I want to get a Raccoon Mass E for 20 one day, but other than that, this section will be staying the same. Legion, I hope to get a few more Legion aircraft, maybe some special libraries. Sun Country will probably be staying the same, but Sun Country will be getting some pretty soon Schneider Slayer on this year, so that would be great when a model of that comes out. I'll definitely buy one. Uh, yeah, Vail will be probably staying the same. Maybe one day NG will release a Vail aircraft, including the 700 and 800, so I would definitely buy them. Replace this poor Gemini model. Yeah, Royal Lake will probably stay the same, and New North Pacific will probably stay the same as well. So, yeah, these are really uh, they're really cool models here. Great to have them. And these are a little bit on the rarer side. So, yeah. So that's it for the low cost airlines. Now we're leaving the United States section of the collection. We'll be moving on to Canada. So starting off some Air Canada aircraft. So starting off some Air Canada regional aircraft here. The Air Canada Express CRJ-900. This is the second Gemini displaced from 2022. We have the Air Canada Express and Brave EJ-175 by Gemini Jets. We have a new Air Canada model right here. Here are the Air Canada A320 in the toothpaste livery by Altitude Model Slash Panels, another West Coast Diecast exclusive. It's a new model. Really, really love the toothpaste livery. Here are the Air Canada Max 747 Max 8 by Gemini Jets. Here are the Air Canada Rouge A321 by NG Models. Here are the HYJL Wings Air Canada A321 in the regular livery. 
maybe the Air Canada E330-300 by HYJL Wayne. So that's it for the Air Canada collection. So yes, yeah, so I do plan on getting an Air Canada Rouge E320 sometimes. So I'd be grateful to expand that collection because they are a they're low cost airline that flies to my fictional airport. So great that would be great to have another one of this. And other than that, my Air Canada collection will probably be staying the same for quite a bit until Air Canada gets newer aircraft, either like the E21 XLR and up in the 787s. And uh, yeah, I do plan on getting a 787 9 sometime from Air Canada. Seeing on to our next Canadian airline, we have WestJet. And I got one new WestJet model since last time. So here are the WestJet Sim Free Center Sundra in the, in the older livery. That's by NG Models, that is the 2023 release. Then, and then we have the WestJet Sunfire Center Sundra in the new livery by Panda Miles. That's a brand new model. So there you go. And that's another West Coast Sidefast exclusive. And the WestJet Sunfire 7 800 by NG Models. That's the 2020 release with splits. And the WestJet Sunfire 7 Max 8. So, and then might as well get this. Get these two also because they're, they're in the WestJet group. Here are the Swoop Sunfury Sun Exchanger, first NG release from 2020, and the Sunwing Sunfury Sun Exchanger by NG. So that's it for the WestJet um, group collection, because Swoop and Sunwing are now part of WestJet. So because Sunwing, Sunwing was a West, I mean, sorry, Swoop was a WestJet brand that's that's being reintegrated back into the WestJet fleet, and Sun, Sunwing has been bought by WestJet, and it will be completely absorbed into WestJet. So. Okay, so that's it for WestJet. I do have one WestJet model in order, which is the WestJet Cargo Sim 37 800, which I saw at Bermuda. So that'll be coming soon to the collection. But other than that, the WestJet collection should be staying mostly the same. Moving on to some more Canadian models. Here we have the first release Flare Sim 37 800 by NG Models, November 2021 release. Here we have another new model to the collection, HYJL Wings, Lynx Air, Sun 47 Max 8. So sad to see this airline go. So, yeah, of course, when I buy that model, the airline decides to, um, but they went bankrupt. So that's, that is pretty unfortunate there. Here we have the Aeroflyer, Sun 47 600, so great injury model. So, and Molly, Sun 47 600. Here we have another new model here with the fantastic Jonah Dips Porter. And we're at ERJ 195 E2, so I hope to get the Q4 inch of that Gemini just released for Porter. But yeah, one of the best one of the best models of the year by far. This is definitely making it into the best models of the 2024 video. Fantastic Gemini just mold. Really got no complaints on it. A yeah, great nose region. Lane gears are great. The tennis are really well detailed. Yeah, lots of details on that. On this, and overall, it's a fantastic model. Here we have the Air Transat, Airbus e 321 s another Canadian model there. And we have the Canada Jetline, Airbus e 320 by C-Model. So that is a, another Panda model there. It's another Panda sub-brand. It's another new model to the collection. And this one has Sharpless, so what a fantastic model. So that is it for all my Canadian models. So can, my Canadian collection has seen a bit, yeah, has seen quite a bit of growth there. So that's really exciting. Exciting to see. And all right, so moving on to our next region of this collection today, which is Central America. So I got a few new models over this section. So let's get started. So again, start off with our first new model over here. Here we have the Avianca, or was A320 with Sharpless by Inchi Models. So this was a, yeah, I believe uh, um, it's really sometime December 2023, around there or November. I think it's maybe the November. So that's, uh, yeah, so that's a that's a fantastic Inchi model there. So I think November 2023. So yeah, grateful to have them all in the collection as another new model. So. Here we have the Alaska Heritage A320. Yeah, A320 by NG Miles. So that's another fantastic Avianca model. And we got another Avianca model here. The Avianca E320 in the Aragal Heritage livery. So yeah, so that's it for my Avianca collection. I've got free Avianca models. I really, really love the Saraline. They have great um, tails, I should say, so great liveries. And they're fun to collect, so hopefully I'll get some more in the future. And plus they fly to a bunch of Floridian airports. So this is kind of the main reason why I have them. And we got a few Caribbean models. So here are the Cayman Airways, 747 Max 8. So, yes, yeah, so I really love this model. Ben, the Cayman Islands, a great place. They're grateful to have their hometown airlines. So, that's a great joint this model. We got another new model to the collection here, the Caribbean, 747 Max 8. So, got that model from, yeah, I got the model from CLT Aviation 13. So, that's really cool to have a model from another um, model, collect, model collector on YouTube. So, that's really great to, and really great to have, the, really grateful to have that one. And we got my Copa Airlines collection. So here are the Copa 747-800 by NG Models. This is standard livery. 
And we have the Copa Sunfire Sun Shader in the 75th anniversary level. So those are fantastic energy models. And we got some models from Mexico. So here we have the Aero Mexico Sun 7 800 by NG Models. Fantastic model there. Hope to get some Aero Mexico Sun 7 Maxes soon, like the Max 8 or Max 9. Then we have the Viva Airbus E320 200 with Shark Plus. That is a Phoenix model. Pretty rare model. Grateful to have it. Pigs, thank you, Aviation Tusk, for letting me get that model a few years ago. And we'll be moving on to our next region this day, which is South America. So I got a few South American models. We got two new ones. So now they got their own little section, which is really exciting. So starting off our first model here of a Goal Airlines 747 Dash Max State by Gemini Jets. So another model I got from the airplane shops. And it's a really nice Gemini Jets model besides those rocket ship engines. But other than that, it, this is a really cool Gemini Jets model. Let's get that some better lighting there. Fantastic model. Moving on to our next one here at the Land 787 Dash 9. So this is my Latam model there. So hopefully I'll be able to get a regular delivery Latam model soon. At least I realize some Land aircraft still fly around under the Latam brand. So. Yes, that's a that's still a fantastic NG model. Here, moving on to your next model here, the Zola Airbus E330-900 Neo in the pink livery. I know a few of you are asking about if I had this model, so I do. So there you go. Hope to get a normal livery of Zola E330 Neo soon. Probably I'd really love to get a E330-200 soon as well from a Zola. So we got an E330-200. So here we have a new model to collection, a new airline to collection. Here the Bolivia de Aviación. There was E330-200 by NG Models. So this is a fantastic model I got through NG CRP program. So yeah, I really love getting free models for that. Really, yeah, when I when I get free models, I can always get some unique models. Some models I wouldn't have purchased otherwise, and this would be one of those. So grateful that this model. Yeah, so that's it for the Central America collection. So yeah, hope to get more of these aircraft in the near future. And we'll be moving on to my European collection. We'll be starting off with some Iceland carriers. So starting with my first model, here we have an Iceland Air 747 Max 8 in the blue tail by Gemini Jets. Here we have the Iceland Air 747 Max 9 by Inchy Models with the Magenta tail. So that's it for my Iceland Air collection. I'm really hoping to get some more Iceland Air aircraft soon, like some 757s and probably some more 747 Maxes with a variety of tails. Maybe for the NG's next CRP exchange, I'll be able to get another Iceland Air Max 9. That'd be really great for some rotation. Moving on to our next duo models, here we have some Play models. So here we have a Play E320 Neo and an E321 Neo by NG Models. So really cool, really cool to have these models and these are fantastic models. Moving on to our next model, here we have a Norwegian Sun 47 Dashader in the Freddie, Mer Freddie Mercury tail. You know I really love the British band Queen and Freddie Mercury is such a great artist on their band. Really unfortunate that he passed away quite a bit ago. So. Yeah, but this model it could still lives on the, you know, yeah, it still lives on, so it's really, yeah. Yeah, really grateful to have this model and a really nice NG model. So I normally don't collect European short haul aircraft, but I just had to, I just had to get that. I just had to pick them all up. We had some SAS models coming up next. So we got another European short haul aircraft. Here we have the SAS 747-700 by Gemma Jets in the new livery. And we have the SAS E350-900 by Aviation 400. And I'm really hoping to get an SCS E330-300 soon. Any, any um, older SCS livery since I saw that aircraft over at Newark. Starting off with some British Airways aircraft. So here we have British, triple, British Airways 777-200ER. Here we have the British Airways 787-10. So that 777-200ER was the first entry release from 2022. And we had the second NG 787-10 release from 2021. And here we have... Here we have the British Airways E350-1000 by Gemini Jets, October 2020 release there. So, so that's it for my British Airways collection. So I'm hoping, hoping to add some more British Airways aircraft in the future. It's been a few years since I've acquired some, so I'm really hoping to get a 777-300 soon. Probably will get that recent Gemini Jets release. Really want to get some 787s, including a 77-9 and 77-8 to go along with that dash 10 there. And then, yeah, let's get some more British Airways aircraft in the future. Maybe a 747 just for fun. Moving on to some more um, British aircraft. We got Virgin Atlantic over here. We do have a brand new Virgin Atlantic model just got today. So, starting off for our next aircraft here. Here we have Virgin Atlantic Airbus E350-1000. What a fantastic AVH 400, 400 model. Definitely one of my favorite models. I may have to make my top 10 most favorite models in my collection video one day. I, and just let, you know, let me know. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. Here we have the Gemini Jets Virgin Lake Airbus E330-900 Neo. And here we have our new Virgin Lake model. Here with the Virgin Lake 787-9 by Aviation 400. Once again, another fantastic model here. Love the 3D beacons on it. It has such lots of detail on it. 
yeah, it has fantastic amounts of detail there. And yeah, great aviation 400 mile. And yeah. And so yeah, that does conclude the Brit, my British, British collection. Every year. And moving on to some more European airlines. So starting off with some Lufthansa aircraft. Here the Lufthansa was E330-300. Here the Lufthansa 77-9 by Aviation 400. So another fantastic Aviation 400 model. And we got another new Lufthansa model for the collection. Here the Lufthansa E350-100 by Aviation 400. First release. And I got this model from CLT Aviation 13, which a lot... He featured this aircraft a lot in his Charlotte update, so really cool to have this aircraft from him. Moving on to my next European aircraft, that's the North 787-9 by NG Miles. That's her first 2022 release. Here we have the Eurowings Discover E330-200, so hoping to get a, Discover, a regular Discover E330 soon. That's another CRP model I got quite a bit ago. There, that's a fantastic model. Here we have the Jonah Jets Condor E330-200 new in their green livery. And we're moving on to Air France. We got a brand new Air France right here. So another Aviation 4787. So here we go. This is the Aviation 400 Air France. It's Boeing 787-9. And we had the Jonah Jets Air France A350. So grateful to get, get a new, yeah, grateful to get a new Air France model. I haven't got one since that A350 back in 2020. So it's been about four years. Moving on to my next European aircraft here, the ITA Airways, Airbus E350-900. So that's a fantastic Aviation 400 model. Moving on to my next model, another new model, another new Aviation 477. So that's kind of the theme of this video. We have a KLM one, so that's a fantastic model there. And then we have the KLM 777. So I hope to get more KLM aircrafts. Hope to get a 777 as junior, that'd be fantastic. And and for ITA, I want to get an A330 900 Neo for them. So yes. My hopes and aspirations, and you know, when Kalen gets their A350s, I'll probably get one as well. Hopes and aspirations for these European airlines, so, yeah. Moving on to my next European aircraft here, Thin Air, Airbus E350 by NG Models. This is an October 2022 release. Here we have a Phoenix Models Edelweiss, E340-300, one of my favorite models here, my only E340 in the collection. And my last European model in the, this collection figure here, the Air Europa 787-9, so. It does conclude the European Airlines, and I'm hoping to get some more European Airlines in the future, like Swiss Airlines, maybe Brussels Airlines, those kind of airlines. So it'd be great to have them. And Iberia, that's one of the airlines I want to get in Aer Lingus. So, yeah, we'll be getting more European models in the future. And, yeah, I mean, look, at that. look at that lineup there of a variety of tales from all over the world. So that's really cool. And our, and our, I'm going to go over these last few models on the airport map before we proceed on to our next section. Here we have another new model right here. My first ever Australian model. So, yeah, it's taken four years of collecting an Australian model, but it's all good. Here we have a Qantas 77 9 by Aviation Forger. Another fantastic model here. And can't wait to use that aircraft in the upcoming airport dates. And I want, I want to one day get a Qantas E380 and a Qantas E350 1000 for Project Sunrise flight. So, this will be really cool to represent. And yeah, it's not an Australian model, but I had nowhere else to put this model. Here we have the Broken. Jeremy, that's Delta 747 900 ER. So, yes, I did try to fix this model by adding a new tail to it. So, it, it looks, it just looks all right. I didn't really want to put it in the Delta section. So, there you go. One of my first models here, this was the 2012 Jeremy, that's really. So, that's it for all the models on the airport, man. You'll see this. You'll, you'll see those one skin later on this video. And believe it or not, we still got some more models to cover in today's video. And this time we're on my shelves over here. So, that's really cool. A little different. I don't think I've shown you guys these before. On uh, the shelves before. So, Moving on to some Asian airlines, we'll be starting off with a, one, our sole Chinese aircraft here with China Sovereign, 737 MAX 8, a Gemini 2018 release. Here we have the fantastic Aviation 400, Airbus E380. Yeah, and this is from Singapore Airlines, a fantastic model here. Really love this model. And let's get some more Aviation 400, so A380s. And moving on to our next um, Asian airline here, we have a Japan Air Airlines 787-9. Hope to one day get an ANA model. Here we have a Korean 777-3ER. We got a few new models over here. Here have the Air India Airbus A350-900 by NG Models. It's the first NG release there. Here we have the German Jets Emirates Airbus A350-900 first release there. I'm sure Joe and I release some more of these in the future, so might as well prepare for the future there by saying this is their first release. Here are the Jonah Jets Emirates Triple Sun is Stranger LR. So one day I want to, one day I want to get an Emirates Triple Sun is Free and an Emirates A three eighty for the collection. 
And our last Asian aircraft is the Qatar 777-300ER by NG Miles. So. Moving on to some retro aircraft. So starting off with our first retro aircraft here, the Transworld. Madonna Douglas ND83 by Gemini Jets. And the Red Stripes livery, what a fantastic model. Here are the TWA final livery, Lockheed L L1011 TriStar. What a fantastic NG model. They really love their TriStar mold. Hopefully they'll use that mold more in the future. Here we have the NG Miles Continent Continental 777-200R in the Peter Max livery. What a fantastic model. Here are the Gemini Jets Blank Box Models America West 757-200. Here are the Gemini Jets Eastern Airlines Boeing 757-200 in their Chrome livery. What a fantastic model. Here are the Gemini Jets British Airways Concorde. Looking fantastic there. 2020 release. We got some Air Classic slash SMA DC-9. So here at Seattle Model Aircraft Company, AirTran DC-9. What a fantastic SMA model. Yeah, I saw the aircraft in real life over at the yeah, Space and Science Museum in Hampton, Virginia. So it's really cool. Yeah, really cool to get that aircraft in, in one for your scale. Here for British Midland, British Midland or BMA DC-9, DC-930. So both these are DC-930s. This one of yours is an Air Classic model. My grandpa fell in that aircraft, so that's why I had to get it. We have a new model to declare for another airplane shop exclusive. I mean, not, not exclusive model, but another airplane shop model I got is the Trump Shuttle 727. So grateful to have this airline in the collection. Here we had the Joint Desk US Airways Airbus A319, my first ever 1400 scale model. Here we had the Panama's US Airways A320. That's a solely aircraft, so really great to have this piece of history in the collection. Oh, yeah, we got some cargo aircraft. So moving on to our next aircraft here, Prime Air 747-800 by NG. We have the Prime 767-300 BCF by Phoenix Models. We had the FedEx 767-300F by Gemini Jets. The UPS 757-200 by Gemini Jets 2015 release. This was the 2020 free release there. And we got a new model over here. I think this is maybe our... Second to last new model in today's video, that's 1400. Here are the Polar Air Cargo 747-400F, another Interact model there. I got that model for free from West Coast Diecast, so there you go. In this little promotion, in their promotion they had. Here are the Alice Air 747-400F. Here we have the U.S. Air Force C-17. And it's a Charleston Air Force Base one. Grateful to have that model. So we're diving right into the military models now. So leaving cargo. Here we have the U.S. Air Force c C-32A, this is Air Force 2, so that's what the aircraft the Vice President flies on. Here we have the new Air Force 1, so this is, this is the last new model in today's video. This is a 747 8 I got from the airplane shop. And all these are Gemini Jets models if I hadn't said so. And we got our last 1400 scale model in today's video. Here are the Gemini Jets U.S. Air Force BC-25B, or the 747 8i in Trump's proposed livery. So... Yes, yeah, so depending on, you know, what happens in politics, so we'll have to see which of these two 747-8s come to real life, the delivery. So, yeah, so we'll have to see. Um, yeah, we'll have to see. So that's it for my 1-400 collection. So that's it for all the 1-400s on the shelves. So this, yeah, it's crazy how we had to expand the um, collection up to the shelves. So, yeah, so that's all. That's it for one my 1-400 collection. Let's proceed on to some... One two hundred models and some Darren Skymarks models. And proceeding on to the non one four hundred scale aircraft, so we got quite a few in today's video. We got quite a few new ones. So, starting off with our first aircraft, haven't I didn't feature this model in the last video, I do believe by accident. So I'm sorry about that. But here are the flight manager Southwest seven forty seven dash three hundred in the Arizona one livery with the desert gold tail. And yeah, those steel wires are a little. Yeah, didn't put those on right, and I did that. I did that four years ago. That's four years ago. My yeah, four years ago. JT bought it. So there you go. We have some Corgi models right here I got recently. My grandpa gave me some of these, and he found them on an online collection sale. So there you go, some Corgi aircraft. That Condor, I mean, not, well, not Condor. That British Airways Concorde is looking flat and amazing. A really cool model. I believe it's in the Landor livery. So there you go, so a lot of cool aircraft. We've got the Space Shuttle there. So there you go. And then up here we have some Skyworks aircraft. We have a United 787-8. So I hope to get that model 1400. One of the few United aircraft that don't have a 1400. But at least I have that in Skyworks form. So there you go. So that's a 1200 model. 1200 plastic model. Here are the JetBlue A321. And the Prism Tail 1150 of scale by Skymarks. Here are the Flight Miniatures Delta A350 and 1200. Maybe one day I'll get a 
200 diecast delta A50, that'd be really nice. And then let's get this, these last few Skymark Smalls here. The Aerojet Max 8. I got them all from the airplane shop. A fantastic Skymark Small, one of my favorites there. One 130th scale. And yeah, my first ever model here, which is the Southwest 747 Dish Max 8 by Darren Skyworks in one 130th scale. So yeah, it's really cool. I got them all back in 2019. Moving on to our next aircraft here, he has some 1 200 um, die cast aircraft. So here we have the Gemini Jets Gemini 200, American 747 800, and the Arena Air Heritage livery. Here we have one of my favorite models here, the Hura here, 757 is 200 and 1 200. So I have, three, I have three different models of this aircraft. This is by JC Wings. One, it's a great model right here. And we got a 1 172 scale Gemini Jets Blue Angels FAA, FAA 18. And yeah, and the Blue Angels Larry number two right here. I've seen this aircraft a bunch because I live in the Virginia Beach area. So I've been to the Oceana Air, Air, Air Show several times before. So I've seen that aircraft a lot, a lot of times before. And the final video, I mean, final video. My God, yeah, I'm slurring my speech now. I, yeah, I can't think straight after all, after going over all 300 miles to the final model. I believe like the 313th mile in today's video, somewhere around that. Is the Breeze Ember Ear J one ninety five by Jim Jess in one two hundred scale? So that is the final vi final model in today's video. And all right, guys, that does conclude today's collection. Video. So once again, this was the collection by one four hundred scale and one two hundred scale diecast Minecraft collection video for August two thousand twenty four. And yes, collection has grown a lot in the past. I believe like yeah, I believe almost like nine months there. So yeah, so yeah, the collection is. Yeah, changed a lot in the past time. I've also got a lot of new models here. And yeah, so can't wait to see how this collection will grow over the next few months. I'll probably do the next collection in January or February, so that's kind of how it'll go. We'll do, this, do these collections every six months. So this one, I'm sorry, this one took a little bit longer. I was quite busy this summer. I was hoping to do this collection in June or July, but kind of got kept on getting pushed back. Um, yeah, so yeah, so I'll be soon start. I'll be soon going off to college next week, which will be really exciting. I'll be starting life flying. Uh, my aviation career so that's gonna be really exciting so that is your quick channel update there so i want to get this video done before I go out there i still i still i still live at home though so i still make these videos just not as frequent so yeah so expect to see more my airplane reviews and your next jack's fire fish my report they should be coming out sometime next week so yes that's it for the yeah for my channel update there so for the collection um some models i want to get some some models i want to get or want to have my next clutch fish so I want to get a Delta E-170, a United E-170, because I did find a United E-170, so now I need to get that one. Um, a Delta E-30S-200, uh, maybe some more, yeah, United, maybe some more United Specials, same because Alaska, I want to get the Alaska Max 8, the Max 9, more Specials for Alaska. And for Southwest, I want to get all the older Gemini Disc releases and any new releases, and kind of, and then I want to get some more European aircrafts and more Asian aircraft, so it's kind of, that is a very, um, yeah, put in simple terms, that's the aircraft I want to get by the next collection phase. So we'll have to see if that comes true. Let's see what aircraft are released over the next few months. I can't wait to see how the collection looks in six months. That's going to be really exciting. And yeah, and probably some of these models will be sold, so just stay tuned for that. I probably have to sell a few of them so I can buy more models. I'm running out of space too. So yeah, so once again, if you want to see my collection any written format or an online format, whatever you want to call it, check out my collection page on model yeah model model airliner database yeah i'll put a link for the description below and you can see all the models there in case i missed a few models in this video or you couldn't understand me because of my accent but sometimes i may yeah throw off what i have yeah throw off what i say so and so i just wanted to mention that so that's it for this video i'm jt pilot to thank you all so much for sticking around for this long is my longest day ever on my YouTube channel. So get some final shots of the collection here. You get some final shots. There's my shelves over there. Yeah, get some final shots of the collection there. So yeah. Okay, so I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching this video and have a wonderful day. Bye.